The heart and the mind are the most powerful organs Allah has blessed you with. Never ever give control of them to anyone besides Allah. Otherwise you will be hurt and hurt very badly. A lot of people are struggling and suffering, depressed because they gave their hearts away to someone they met on the net. And that person just used and abused. Can I tell you, there are a lot of people who suffer because there was a password. There was a password made up of eight characters that was used in order to use them, to get to them, to abuse them. What's that password? I love you. Eight letters. And he continues telling you, I love you. I love you. And he's lying. He doesn't even know what love means. He's not focused at all. If he knew what it meant, he wouldn't be telling it to you. He would be upright. So that was the password. Then what happened? We are lost. We are gone because a year down the line, we are crying. We are depressed. And you can't even tell my father or my, my mother nothing because they don't have a clue what was going on. And they will tell you, you're a fool. Allahu Akbar. But it's their fault as well. They did not play a role big enough in your life to know what was going on. This is why we say if you're focused, you will know your children are a ni'mah. You must be focused upon them as well. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who placed a duty on your shoulders to look after your kids. Don't allow this password that people utter to be a password straight into your heart because anyone could say that and press enter and that would be the right password. And so now we are caught, we are hooked. And what happens? Shaitan's got grip of us. Like I say, and I'm repeating this, the heart and the mind are the most powerful organs Allah's given you and blessed you with. Do not allow people to control that. Nobody shall control that besides Allah. Don't hand it over to someone. No, it belongs to Allah. We will only do with the heart and the mind that which will please Allah. Yes, so when you're married, you have a spouse, Alhamdulillah. Within the limits, you will be able to give a portion of your heart and your mind to by the will of Allah. Why? Because that's what pleases Allah. But if you give it elsewhere, believe me, you're not focused. It's going to come back. And believe me, I'm a counselor. I know what I'm talking about. It comes back to haunt you because everything that's rosy, the clubs and the nightclubs and the glamour and the nightlife and the parties, people are focused on parties. Come Friday night, they're at a party. What party? Well, we went to a party. We had fun and we danced and we, we had music and everything else. What happened? You're not focused on the Akhirah. Not at all. Did that party help you at all? No. What do you want me to sit and read the Quran on a Friday night? Allahu Akbar. What an answer. What an answer. No, may Allah grant us goodness. How can you leave the home in the morning without having read one verse of the Quran? How? But we do. What did I say? One verse of the Quran. I challenge you. Do you want to make a change in your life? Before you leave the home every morning, please. Can we promise one verse of the Quran? Believe me, it will change your life. It will change your life. And read it with its meaning. Understand what you've just read. And you'll see the words of your maker. The one who made you, if you think you're falling in love with this one and that one because of how nice they look and how hot they are and how sharp they are and how wealthy they are and how beautiful they look when they're walking and talking and so on. Believe me, the one who made them should primarily be the one whom you are in love with.